definitely uh, good areas to work because they're quite, they can get really, really tight and you can't really feel anything for the first five minutes on the quadriceps massage. Some people can feel like it's excruciatingly painful. Some people feel like there's hardly any pain at all. And they try and encourage you to go deeper and deeper into the quadriceps, but don't, just work it through and you will you know, gradually unwind all that tension and you'll be able to get a really nice release. Um, <laughs> with hairy legs, more oils can be useful, otherwise you might start pulling on the hairs and getting a rash on there. So a few with Bob Skeleton guys. Rashes after the massage. Oil. How about that? So did you do this position? The quadriceps? No, no. I sit on people's feet. If you sit on someone's foot, get consent to sit on their foot. Because, uh, because you're sitting on their foot. So a lot of times when I sit on people's foot, they go, oh, sorry, but they move their foot out of the way. I don't no, no, want to sit on your foot. So uh, I want to sit on your foot, essentially, to stabilize the lower leg. There's so many different things that you can learn. Have you done this way with the lower leg? So many things to learn. I don't want to overload. Well, now I'm thinking I should change this. This is a really good way to get into the posterior as well. That would be nice. There's a lot of different things, like if you were doing a pre-event massage for someone, so if Oliver was re-watching the, the board, this, this, this tactics, and watching video analysis, not ideal for you to be lying prone. So you need to be able to learn how to do all of the posterior muscles in a supine position. So we will go into it as we move into pre and post event. This works really well, and then this is a really nice thing to get into the hamstrings to be able to do therapy whilst the people are watching and are not able to be in a prone position. So there are loads of different things, but that was a pause. For the VMO and the very lateral head of the vastus lateralis, coming into the patella, if anyone's got knee pain, the bend in the knee stretches the quadriceps. And then you're getting more tension build up in and around the knee. You, have, you don't have to work as hard to, to release through here. I like to grip my fingers together and compress from both sides. The action that I do would be to work transversely. So I'm almost transversely gliding across the VMO, and causing a little bit of tension on the VMO. And then I'm going to come back, apply more pressure to the vastus lateralis, and move across in that direction. Do you want to do it from side to side? Yeah, I'm moving from side to side. Mm, not much of my work is you know, just from kneecap to bend. It's always about mobilizing the muscle as much as possible. Can you feel me kind of squishing it, lifting it yeah. as I work my way through? Get my body behind it. Um, this is important, again, because you might get people that come in that have osteoslatus disease, um, patella tendinopathies. So we can go right into the patella tendon. And here, on you, is your tibial tuberosity. That sticking out there. Have you ever had shin splints? No, I don't think I have. Is there any pain in around here? Well, I say it because you have a prominent tibialis posterior. So if the quadriceps are really tight, the patella tendon can get pulled away from the tibialis tuberosity, tibial tuberosity. And then you put these little bony deposits in there to take away that tension. You get like little um, growths from the outside of your knees. And, from <laughs> this is what you watch out for. So this would be like great. So if someone's getting, someone's had osteoslatus disease, someone's got bony deposits here, it's not going away unless they get it chiseled off. So they might get pain in and around the knee. So coming in and just releasing the tendon. Are you talking to me? I am talking, well, I'm talking to everybody, but looking at you. <laughs> and I'm just kind of watch reading your face for entertainment. <laughs> but I'm simple reading friction on the patella tendon, and below the patella, and I've just done a little bit of transverse work in the right here. So that's a really nice one. <coughs>